Welcome back to AP Computer Science Principles. Today we are going to jump right into a few more example problems using Khan Academy, so please do feel free to follow along, and if you're feeling it, go ahead and pause the video after each question and see if you can figure it out on your own. Without further ado, let's get started. Today's topic, storing text in binary. Now, as always, before trying any of these problems, I do strongly recommend reading, understanding, perhaps even taking notes on this article right here, which gives an example, much like I did in my last video, of different kinds of codes, how they've been used historically, and how they're used today. All right, question one. In the 1980s, the ISO 8859-7 character encoding was created in order to encode Greek text files. The encoding is based on the ASCII standard, but includes mappings for the letters of the Greek alphabet. This table shows them, okay? So it looks like alpha is 11100001, etc. So far, so good. According to this encoding, what is the binary encoding of the Greek word? I don't speak Greek, so I don't even know what all those letters are, so I'm not going to try to pronounce it. Now, this is multiple choice, so we'll be able to take a look in a second. And in fact, I can eliminate all but two of these answers right now without even having to do any encoding. Can you see how? Well, if you'll notice, all of these characters have eight bits or one byte representing them. So, if there are three letters, then we need a string of bits that is 24 long, right? Three bytes. And that's only B and C. So if we can figure it out between those two, we're good to go. Now, this K looking letter is 11101010. So our answer has to start with those eight bits. Let's find it. Looks to me like C. As a side note, please do remember that you don't have to do all of the work if you can find the answer through some other means. You don't have to translate all three of those letters into binary in order to find the right answer. This is multiple choice, and you should take advantage of that. Question two. VSCII is a character encoding scheme developed in the 1990s in order to encode text written in Vietnamese. VSCII uses one byte to encode each character. I have a feeling that's going to be important. This binary data is a VSCII encoding of a single Vietnamese word. How many characters are encoded in that binary data? Well, it does say there is one byte for each letter, so it's going to be however many bytes there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's one byte. Looks like the other half is another one byte. So this would be a two letter message. Question three, which types of data are stored on a computer using bits? All data is stored on a computer using bits, every single piece. So regardless of what those say, the answer is gonna be all of the above. It says numbers, English text files, Chinese text files, they are all stored on a computer using bits. Everything is. Hey, and that's exactly what Khan Academy says as well. Finally, number four, consider this sequence of bits. Okay, got that part done. What is true about this binary data? A, the sequence of bits might represent a number, an English word, or a Chinese word. Well, that's certainly true. And the point is that we don't know just by looking at the ones and zeros what it's supposed to mean. At no point will you ever be expected on the AP exam or anywhere else to look at a string of ones and zeros with no context and be told to figure out what it means. You'll be told it's a number, it's a letter using ASCII. You have to have the code in order to decode the ones and zeros. I'm pretty sure A is our answer, but let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of them anyway. Could not represent an English or Chinese word, that's false. Could not represent a number, that's false, it absolutely could. Could not represent a Chinese word, also false. It could be any of those things. This is very much just like the last problem we just did, where the answer, just like it was there, is all of the above. And that, my friends, is storing text in binary. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you catch me on the next video.